birds. No, they survived. <laughs> but you, you may ask yourself why they used a sheep, duck, and a rooster. This was their idea of a controlled experiment. They actually wanted to see if man could uh, breathe at altitude. Uh, so they knew a sheep could breathe on the surface, a rooster could fly a little off the ground, but a duck could fly much higher. They were actually caged inside the basket, and they didn't have the modern day uh, heating system as we do today. They basically had a fire in the middle of the basket, and they thought it was the smoke, so they had uh, manure, wet grass, whatever caused that smoke. So it was a success, so they brought their idea to the King of France, King Louis the Sixteenth, And he also agreed this is a fabulous idea. So on November 21st, that same year, um, said to be the largest gathering at the Versailles Palace. The brothers got busy building a balloon and they brought it on the 21st of November. And so the king said to the brothers, step on board and off you fly. Well, the brothers actually promised their father they would build the balloon, but, but not fly in it. So the king said, not a problem. Off to the gallows, get me some prisoners. We'll have a flight today. <laughs> but it was said, as the, as the guards were retrieving the prisoners, the queen, Marie Antoinette, whispered into the king's ear and said, this is a terrible idea. We can't have the first two people fly condemned criminals because they, if they survive, we'll have to release them. They'll go down to history books and we will look like fools. <laughs> so they sent the prisoners back. They were very happy. So instead, two noblemen stepped forward. The first one was Pilatre de Rosier. From his first name, Pilo, we get pilot in aviation today. And he brought his good friend, probably kicking and screaming. His name was Copilatre. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, his, name was, his name was Marquis Delon. So they stepped on board, cut the ropes, and off they flew over Paris into the French countryside. Um, as they were descending for landing, um, they didn't have as much control as we do where we can come a foot off the ground and then land. They came down fairly hard, and both pilots fell out of the basket as they touched the ground. But the balloon continued on, starting the farmer's fields alight. <laughs> so picture yourself, you're a peasant landowner over 200 years ago, and the only thing you've ever seen fly is a bird. And coming out of the sky over the treetops, this big fire breathing contraption, smoke was billowing out of this thing. They thought it was some sort of demon or devil sent from the skies to destroy their crops. So they banded together with their pitchforks and started attacking this great beast. <laughs> The two pilots that fell out earlier, from a distance, all covered in soot, they actually had masks on because of the soot. It looked like they were rising from the ground. The peasant landowners actually turned on them, started chasing them. They barely escaped with their lives, made it back to the king of France and told him a great story. Polluting was great, but I don't think we should do this anymore. Every time we land, we'll be attacked by the peasant landowners. So being the king, um, the only place you can get champagne at that time was directly from the king of France. It had the king's crest on it. So he presented bottles of champagne to the pilots to give to the landowners as a peace offering. This way they would know they were Frenchmen and not demons sent from the skies to destroy their crops. So we, we carry this tradition on today in different parts of the world. Here in the Serengeti, the gazelles don't drink champagne, so we're going to drink the champagne. Um, is anyone from France here? Anyone? Oh, right here? Okay, then this is not real champagne. <laughs> <laughs> but merci beaucoup to the Montgolfier and Champagne. Just, just one second. Sure. Uh, uh, this is better than Champagne. Uh, <laughs> champagne, this is Cava made in Catalonia. <laughs> you must be from Spain, then. You must be from Spain, yes? From Catalonia. <laughs> okay, Mamba Juice. That's for me. <laughs>